Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> wondering why on earth is there a girl sitting in a pile of clothes on the floor with a green bird? Well, have I got a story for you! If you find this next part boring there's timestamps below, but if you want to hear the shopping fail of the century then uh, hang around for a minute. <sighs> She's so pretty. Far out. Ugh, oh, her clothes are so nice. Oh, her photos are so good. Hey, that's cute. Where's that from? Oh, boo-hoo. Yeah, their clothes are really nice. You know what? Yeah, let's check it out. No, you should silly birds. Don't Boo-hoo. Right, okay. So, boohoo.com. Hmm. What? What? 70% off absolutely everything. <gasps> and it ends in three hours! Oh, shit! Fuck. Um, okay. Yeah, sure. Wow. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so cheap. What the hell? Okay, what if they got the pastel? Whoa, oh damn. <gasps> okay, that's it. We got some spending to do. <laughs> wow, thank goodness. <gasps> Checked out right before the countdown timer ended. <gasps> Wait. Another countdown timer. Are you helping me do some unboxing? Huh? Yeah. Don't mind my weird housemates. My, my boyfriend and my weird housemate. Hey Alex. Yeah? We should probably return that. Oh, I have a month, it's fine. Alex. Yes? Still haven't returned that stuff. I know, it's fine, I have three weeks. Alex. Doesn't that need to go back? It's fine, I still have two weeks, don't worry. The pile needs to go. Fine, Dan, I still have a week. Now. And that's how I got here. So let's get started. There's a few things that I've been wearing non-stop since I bought them, but most of it has just been sitting in that pile on the floor. Normally I ask you guys what should I keep and what should I return, but today I'm going to be asking you what should I keep and what should I sell or donate to charity because it's way past the returns date and there's nothing I can do with it now. Are you ready Archie? Are you ready to get into it? Let's have a look at some clothes. For those of you that are new here, this is Archie. He's my feathered son and he cannot be away from me. His cage is in that room there, but he doesn't want to sit on that, he just wants to sit with me. So I tend to put him on the windowsill over there when I'm doing my videos, and he likes to have a little scream and a squawk, so if you're bothered by bird sounds, then please leave now. Bye-bye. Okay, Archie. Off you go. Go on. Okay, let's get into it. outfit is this cute little checkered set. I've never once worn this out of the house. I took an Instagram <laughs> I took an Instagram photo wearing this once and that's the only time I've ever worn it. So let's try it again. Archie doesn't like it because there's nothing to stand on. Wow, you're doing a good job there, mate. I feel like Dorothy and Toto. The material isn't fantastic and it's extremely tight. It's a bit too small to wear anywhere really. It's quite revealing, but it was really, really cute for Instagram photos, definitely. I liked it for that. I got another two-piece blue set that, I, again, I've never worn this anywhere either. What are you? No, don't leave. Back to the window. 
to screen. I don't feel particularly comfortable wearing this one either. It's so tight and so skimpy. I guess you could wear this if it was summer and you're going to the beach or something like that. Next up is something that's a colour I don't normally wear. This is kind of an orangey blush pink and it's not in my colour palette at all. But I bought it because it was a really interesting looking set and I thought maybe I might find a place for it in my wardrobe but I have not worn it at all. I don't like it. It's interesting. I suppose I can see why some people would really like this. I think this would look really nice on certain figures, but I don't feel very good wearing this at all. And to be honest, I feel a little bit like an orange lamp. This set also came in grey, so I'll put it on just so you can see what it looks like, but don't expect to be amazed by what you see. Are you going to be good? Ah, oh, no, you just want cuddles. Just wants cuddles. Can't have them. Mummy's busy. Very busy. Sorry. No matter what sort of bra you wear underneath this, I feel like it's probably going to make some sort of weird line. It cuts in here really bad. This is my size, the pants are my size, and the top is my size, but it still cuts in. Again, I look like a grey lamp. Next up we have a set that I'm absolutely terrified about. I remember when this arrived and I tried it on. I'm pretty sure I hated it, but it's been months, so I'm going to have another look at it, but I'm not expecting good things. Are you right? I don't understand. This is a three-piece set. It's a jacket, dress, and belt. Yeah, what do you mean? <sighs> well, here's the dress. And to be honest, I feel a little bit like a lumpy hot dog. It is not flattering <coughs> at it's not flattering at all. It makes me feel really <coughs> self-conscious, like I need to go to the gym and work out more because I feel really, really lumpy. It's not flattering. I mean, you have to have washboard abs and nothing here whatsoever to be able to wear this sort of dress. <laughs> Maybe that's why they give you a jacket, because they know that you're not going to like how it looks just as a dress, so they give you the jacket to cover yourself up. Yeah, I guess like that it's okay. It's just all right. But again, this is making me look five months pregnant. It's awful. Next up is a set that I'm actually really excited about. This is something from the order that I have actually worn. So far, I haven't worn any of those things. This is one of those outfits that looks quite nice on, but the material isn't very nice at all. It's quite rough to touch and it's very thin. So you can, you can see right through it. It's not the best thing to wear with coloured stuff underneath. You'd have to wear a G-string and maybe like a silicon bra. This is my favourite part of it. If they sold this separately, I'd buy this a thousand times over. I would buy it in every colour because I think it's really flattering. I think the length of the sleeves is really nice and the little collar is really cute too. Doesn't have pockets. <sighs> All I want is pockets on everything. But yeah, this is really good. I've worn this with, with heels, a little handbag, I did my hair up in a bun, it looked really nice, and this is one of my favourite purchases from the whole thing. Next up, we have something that I have been dreading for a long time. When this arrived, way back in October, I tried to get into it and things did not go well. The issue with this is that when you put your arms into it to try and put it over your head, the opening isn't as wide as a human head. I don't understand. No matter what size your body is, your head is probably going to be somewhat the same and yet this little opening isn't big enough for my head, let alone a child's head. It probably wouldn't even fit Archie, that's how small this opening is. So I don't know if this is faulty or what. You know, normally when you go to put on an item of clothing, you put your arms into it and then you, you do this and you put it over your head. I can't. I actually, I physically cannot. Oh god, now it's stuck. It's kind of like a Chinese finger trap. Okay, I managed to squeeze the first part over my head. I'm in it. I'm in the dress. I didn't think I'd ever fit into this. Okay, there we go. Ah. Now I can't wear a bra with this because of just how tight it is. So you have to kind of be careful about leaning forward because this little loose bit drops down. Once again, it's horrifically tight. So again, I feel like I'm potentially maybe three months pregnant wearing this one. But maybe in the right lighting, it would look okay. But again, it's not my kind. This is kind of like a dusty, yeah, quite a dusty kind of peek boo. Peek -boo. <laughs> I feel like there would be certain body shapes that could really pull this off, but again, not mine. So this is another one that I'm gonna have to sell. Okay, I only got one more coordinating set and this is it. Can you tell why I bought it? <laughs> it matches my wardrobe theme perfectly. It's pastel. Sorry, sorry, I mean pastel. I think I got told off the other day for saying it wrong. I think it's 
pastel. Let me school you guys for a minute. In Australia, we say pastel. It's pastel colours. When we say pastel, we're referring to this stuff that's kind of like chalk that you use to paint. It's like highly pigmented <coughs> painting sticks. Those are pastels. <coughs> this, this is pastel. I'm going to try and say it the way you guys want me to say it. So <coughs> I got this pastel coordinating set. Let's try it. I'm trying on clothes and you're being too noisy. That's what I'm doing. Here's the last one. This is the last matching set. It's a pastel set and I love it so much, but my only question is that on the website, they show the model wearing shoes. I thought this was a pajama set, but apparently it's a loungewear set. And again, for loungewear, I wouldn't expect that you'd need to wear shoes because would you not be lounging at home? But because she's wearing shoes, it makes me think, maybe I'm meant to wear this in public. Would you guys wear this in public? I have never, I've only ever worn it to bed. But if you think that I could wear this in public, please let me know. Please drop a comment down below and tell me where you think that I should be wearing this. Now, I went through this massive Joanna Kutcher phase where I was stalking her Instagram and I wanted to buy basically every single outfit that she wore. And I spotted her wearing an off-the-shoulder white top. I'll put the picture here. And I saw that top on her and I wanted it so bad. I guess she really is an influencer because she influenced me to want to buy one. So I went on... Boohoo thought, yeah, I'll probably find one here and found this. It's very, very difficult to wear. It's quite awkward. The, the sleeve length is very long, particularly when it's off the shoulder, which it was designed to be. It's meant to be an off the shoulder white blouse. The material is quite thick, but it doesn't feel very nice. It feels a little bit cheap despite being thick. <laughs> One of the issues is I'm really, really bad at ironing things. I hate ironing things. The last time I tried to iron something, I branded myself by accident. So I really like things that don't crush very easily. This crushes really easily. It's like crinkly paper. I feel like I could do origami with this top. The next one is another one of these white tops, but this one I have worn a few times. You can tie it at the back or you can bring it back around to the front and tie it like that. I really love these, they're huge. And the sleeves are really, really fun. The only problem I have with this, I have worn it out in public a couple of times and it does this. And that's okay because I wanted an off-the-shoulder top, but sometimes it gets to the point where it's so off-the-shoulder that it just kind of falls down like this. Every time I've worn this, I have had to go to the bathroom three times to take the whole thing apart, readjust it back onto my shoulders properly, and then tie it again. Because as this part becomes a little bit loose, all of this starts to fall apart, and then you're showing way more than you want to. But aside from that, I love it. I think the sleeves are really fun. I kind of feel like I should be doing a dance with maracas when I'm wearing this. The next top is another one of these blouses, again, button-up shirts. I don't know, what do you call them? People call these things a different name in every country. I would call this a blouse, but I don't know, what do you call this in your country? A button-up shirt? Just a shirt? Do you just call it a shirt? This one is designed to be very off the shoulder. It's quite difficult to get it to sit right, to get it to sit in a flattering way. But once you have it sitting nicely, it's actually really nice. It's nice when you wear a skirt with it. I would definitely wear this with a skirt over the top. But also it's good to wear with jeans. I've worn it with jeans a couple of times. It's a very lightweight fabric, so it's really nice on a hot day, especially because it's off the shoulder. I don't reach for it that often though, because that's why. <laughs> can, you see the, can you see the problem here? It doesn't really match. But I bought it because I thought that I would use it a lot more. The next one is one of my all-time favorite items. I've worn this a lot since I bought this haul. This is probably one of the, I don't know, four things that I've actually worn out of all of these items. And it's a pink turtleneck. This is one of my all-time favorite tops. I wear this so much. The fabric is glorious. L glorious. I cannot rave about this fabric enough. It's so beautiful. It's really soft. I've worn this on summer days and I didn't feel too hot. But I've also worn it on cold nights and I didn't feel too cold. So I don't know what sort of witchcraft that is, but this is my any temperature, any time, anywhere top. I, I adore it and I think it's really cute. Next up, I got this denim jacket. I mean, I don't think it's real denim. I don't know what distinguishes denim from rough feeling fabric. The front is pretty cool, but it's the back that I bought it for. I love that just mauled by a lion aesthetic. But I have never worn this, not once. I bought it, I pulled it out of the packet, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever! I thought it was amazing, I loved the effect on the back. But it's still got the tag on, can you see? I've never worn it, I've never had an occasion to wear it. The sort of outfits that I normally wear are very soft and kind of feminine, and this is more of a, not hardcore, but kind of like grungy, and it's not really my aesthetic, but... I mean, looking at it now, I'm looking at myself on the screen there, this looks really cool! I, I mean, 
This is one of those things I think, damn, why don't I wear this more often? This is awesome. But no, not once. Not once have I ever worn it. So this is my predicament. It's cool, so do I keep it or do I sell it? Because I'm probably not going to wear it. If I haven't worn it between the day that I bought it and now, I'm probably not going to wear it in the future. But I feel like I have separation issues. I'm like, no, I like it. No, no, I can't get rid of it because I like it too much. And even though I'm never going to wear it, I want to keep it. You can probably all relate. I got another pink turtleneck and I don't know why I bought this. Actually, I do know why, and it's really, really embarrassing. It's because I saw a picture of Kim Kardashian. I don't like the Kardashians, but I randomly... Oh! No! Daniel. Hello. Welcome home. I'm shook. I don't know what to say. You want to say hi to the camera? Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, that is a happy boy. It's an Archie interlude, Archie interlude. <laughs> Look, sometimes he can't decide which parent that he wants to be with more, so he just holds both of our hands. <laughs> yeah, nice trick. <laughs> that was Dan opening the door and walking in and knocking over my tripod. Now, it's an embarrassing story why I bought this. I bought it because I saw a picture of Kim Kardashian wearing like a pink turtleneck and a skirt, and I thought it was such a cute outfit, and I was like, I need that outfit so bad. I noticed this wide brimmed turtleneck and I thought, oh, look at those ugly kind of frilly details on the bottom. And I figured I would cut it, but I didn't know what the material was. And then when it arrived and I actually got to experience the material for myself, I don't think this is the sort of material that can be cut. It's knitted and it's really unusual feeling. It, it actually, the only way I can describe this is it feels slimy. Archie is being exceptionally clingy right now. He doesn't want to leave me. You sit on mummy's knee, huh? My balance is terrible. What are you doing? You want to chew on that, huh? Ah! Ah! I really like the wide turtleneck. I think it's really cool. It kind of sits a little bit weird. It, you have to play around with it a little bit to get it to sit the way that you want it. I really, really hate this at the bottom here. All I can think of when I look at myself, I just think of a clown. If this was like that, I think that would be really cool. But that's just a bit awkward. I have one more jumper. He just wants to sit on my shoulder. Come on. There we go. Okay, you sit on my knee. Come on, sit on my knee. Onto the jacket that started it all. This is the Kayla Hadlington jacket. This is the jacket that I saw her wearing that made me think, oh, I should shop at Boo Hoo. And I'm glad that I bought this because this is my favorite. This is such a cool jacket. I've worn this a lot. It's very, very warm. I love the color. I think this is really cute. This gets dirty quite easily though. That's the only problem because if you had hair dye, this would pick up the color because it's woolly and I reckon it's highly absorbent. I adore it. I've washed this a few times. It came out of the wash feeling a little bit harder than it was when it went in, but that's probably just a faux pas on my part for washing it wrong. It's super stylish. I can see why a style icon like Kayla was wearing it in the first place. I get a lot of compliments on it too. It's corduroy. I think that's what you call this, corduroy. I think it's awesome. Can't get enough of this. This was the only thing that I actually needed. This is the only thing that I was going onto that damn website to buy. And then I came away with all of that. <sighs> Story of my life. Seeing as I'm wearing this turtleneck top. I'm gonna to try on the skirts now so you can see what the skirts look like. The first skirt that I got is this pink denim one. It has pockets, which I love. They're very hard to get into. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Once I'm in, I'm not getting out of them. I really like this skirt, but it's way too short and it's not from the petite range. This is just meant to be a regular length skirt and it's very short. Like, like, oh, that is right on my bum. And I've only worn this once since I bought it, once, and the very first time I wore it, I started going up a staircase, and I had to walk up the staircase with my hands like this because of how short it is, and you can't physically pull it down any further because of how it's cut. It's meant to sit on your hips like that. So again, this is one that was fine for photos, but has no practical use whatsoever. I can't wear this out of the house. I'm five foot nine, by the way, five foot eight, five foot nine. I mean, maybe if you're shorter, it, it might be all right, but not for me, definitely not for me. It's a cute color though. Next up is a denim skirt that has these little eyelets, little, you know, yeah, little eyelets on it. And I had an idea where I thought I could loop some ribbon through it. So that's why I bought it. When I saw it, I thought, yeah, that'd be cute with some pink ribbon sticking out the bottom. This one is quite an awkward fit. It's 
very, very tight on my hips, but on my waist, it's loose. So I don't know if that's just because of my figure. Maybe if you had a different shape, it would fit better. It still fits me, it still does up, but oh, again, it's so tight, I can't get my hands in the pockets, so the pockets are useless. Ugh. The length is a lot better than what that other denim one is. It sits at an acceptable height. Kind of has these funny discoloration on your butt cheeks, which is a bit awkward. And that hasn't happened from wear because I've only worn this once. Again, maybe because it's not my aesthetic really, I just don't really wear this one. The next one is an absolute joke. I hate this so much. For a start, this isn't denim. I mean, I don't know what this is. Is it denim? I don't know. Like, it kind of feels like denim, but it's so thin. I mean, it feels like it's just gonna break if I stick my fingers through it. It, it feels like paper, that's how thin it is, but it still has the same texture as this denim. So I don't really understand how that works. This is a US size 2, European size 34, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, here it is on. It's very confusing because it comes up very high on one side, but then goes down quite low on the other. And I didn't really notice that it was like that when I saw it on the website. I mean, looking at it now, it looks okay, I guess. But the issue here is this. This, look, this is not, it's not stretchy. That's just how big this is. This is my size, so I don't really understand how this fit works. I might even be able to fit two arms into it. Yeah, yeah, I can fit two arms into it. So this fit is very unusual. Not once have I worn this out of the house just because of how strange the fit is. I mean, look, look, it, it just, it's just baggy. Like, it, it just hangs open. So that one was definitely a no from me. Look, I don't think I'm even gonna bother selling this because this is the cheapest feeling fabric ever. I think I'm just gonna donate this to charity. So I found these pants on the website and I loved the combination that the model was wearing. It was this, and I was like, that's amazing! <laughs> and I spent, I reckon, an hour and a half trying to find this top. It wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. If I just kind of play with the top a little bit, I can make it not show my bra. So this is the full outfit. I loved the look of it on the model. She looked incredible. When I wear this, it feels really good. It feels really, really cool. But the problem here is, that's right, Archie, peekaboo. My boobs are saying peekaboo. So the problem here is that the pants are very, very see-through. The top does not cover your boobs. But aside from that, I'm getting some real ABBA vibes. Waterloo. No, no. Oh boo -hoo. Couldn't return if I wanted to. It would be good. It's just, just not there. <coughs> Look how big these pants are. How cool is that? I mean, these, these pants are honestly amazing. <coughs> But the top, I can't physically wear this. I can't imagine how anyone can wear this. It just... Okay, mate, you need to stop. You tell them that you're sorry for screaming at them. Are you sorry? Next up, we're gonna have a look at some of these dresses. Now, some of these... Some of these aren't necessarily intended to be dresses. Yes, peekaboo. But I wear them as dresses. This is the first one. It's a tiny little bit see-through. It's really, really nice material. The fabric is so soft. It's that sort of fabric that you can just sort of... You can just kind of bum around in this sort of fabric at home all day. I love that it drapes off the shoulder. And the other thing that I absolutely adore is this top. I mean, it's a jumper, but I wear it as a dress and the fabric is quite nice. Again, I put this in the wash and the fabric went all kind of stiff. My favorite thing about this is the sleeves. They pinch in here and they're really, really wide. I wear this all the time and every time I wear it, people are like, yeah, they're like that. <laughs> That's what they do. Every time I wear this, people scream. People say, where did you get that? It's amazing. And I think I know, I think I know about 10, of my personal friends that have bought this because I wore it and they were like, that is so cool. The last dress that I got is another Kayla Hadlington inspired outfit. I bought Archie's screaming a lot more than usual because there's a family down on the street and he can see them and he's trying to scream at them to get their attention. I call this dress my tutorial dress because I put it on every time I have to film a drink tutorial. I love the way that it sparkles in the background. The only issue is I've never once, never ever ever worn this in public because of the length. At the back, I don't know what is up with the way that this fits, but it's longer at the front than it is at the back. 
I won't turn around all the way because you're gonna see a little bit too much. When I wear this, I kind of feel like a cheap stunt double for Kayla Hadlington. <laughs> But I love it, it's heaps of fun and I use it actually, I put it down and I put items on it to take photos of for Instagram. I use it as a backdrop. I just can't wear it in public, I can't. I have actually seen this exact same dress on other websites and it's a bit longer. I mean, I don't know why Boohoo thought it was necessary to chop that extra couple of centimeters off the bottom, but it's just too short and I can't wear it and it makes me so sad but it looks really nice in my wardrobe I have this open wardrobe and it's a nice sort of statement piece so sometimes if I'm gonna take photos in my room I'll take this out and I'll hang it you know front and center so you can see it because it's really cute but aside from that no practical use whatsoever speaking of uh, no practical use whatsoever I bought a mesh top I can't believe I did this I'm gonna get into showing you the pants and I'm <coughs> And I'm going to show you this crazy top as well. I bought a whole bunch of jeans with pearls on them. Okay, this is without a doubt the dumbest thing that I've ever bought. I'm never ever ever going to wear this ever. I'm wearing a bra obviously. I suppose you're meant to wear it with like those suction cup bras. But like if you leave it kind of to drape. First of all, the chain isn't long enough to do up if you leave it long. I'm not going to bother selling this because who's going to want to buy this? I think I'm just going to toss it in a corner and maybe maybe it'll come in handy for a costume maybe i don't know these jeans looked so cool on the model i thought this photo was amazing and it made me want to buy them and the moment that i unpackaged them and put them the moment that i put these on about four or five of these strands here fell off and pearls went everywhere it was shocking i took one step forward my knee somehow must have busted through them about four of them went like that beads went everywhere it was terrible i've worn them once since then so you know how when you sit down your thighs kind of like expand to the size of texas so i sat and again like that they exploded everywhere i cannot wear these pants i guess i'm just gonna have to cut these off. I know they're all going to start breaking. These are the sort of pants that I guess you could wear fishnets underneath them, but also the cut is a little bit not very flattering on me. I don't really like it. <coughs> this does not look good on me at all. The next ones, again, have pearl embellishments. I've worn these once. Okay, now these jeans are exactly the same size as those others. <coughs> but they don't fit the same. I like how these look on. They sit just above the hip. They're not high-waisted. They're not like a low rise. They're mid rise. They aren't normal denim. This is that kind of like fake denim that's really, really stretchy. From the back, they look all right. But again, I've hardly worn these just because they're very tight. <coughs> these are super cool. I really like this. It's not pearls, but <coughs> I think it looks really nice. The frayed effect is really cool too. <coughs> These are so hard to put your feet through the holes. I mean, there must be some sort of manufacturing error. <laughs> now I know why they call it boohoo. <laughs> it's cause you cry every time you try and put on their clothes. I got a size six, which is my size. These are a size six, all the others were a size six. So I don't know why those ones were so ridiculously tight. I also got these and I really want to like these. <laughs> But these fit really weirdly. I don't know if you can see. Can you see this strange, strange kind of bagginess just here? It's really, really weird. When I stand, it kind of makes this, I don't know. If I kind of really push my legs apart, it looks okay. But I mean, when you stand normally, you kind of stand like this and it looks ridiculous. But this part is really pretty. This is the last pair of pearly looking jeans that I got. Again, these kind of sit at a weird height. It's too tight just around my thighs. So I can't actually pull them up as far as they need to go. So the crutch is sitting lower than what it should. Another pair of jeans that I can't wear. Maybe we'll have some luck with these white ones. Whoever has luck with white jeans, let's be honest. These are the dumbest jeans. Look at this. This is meant to be a rip for the knees. It's below my knees. My knees are here. I don't understand. And not to mention, look at the back. They're completely transparent. 
I was really excited because I thought to myself, maybe, just maybe, I might find a pair of good white jeans. But no. There's one more pair of pants. A dusty pink pair of pants with the buttons on the side. Once again, I have never ever worn these once since I bought them. They've been sitting in the pile of shame. They fit so weirdly. They make my hips look a lot bigger than what they are. My hips end here, right? But because of these things on the side, it gives it this extra width. So it actually makes my hips look a lot wider than what they really are. It's incredibly unflattering. It makes my tummy look like a bum. Like, look at this. Because of this gigantic seam here, my stomach looks like I have a front bum. Popping them doesn't help. They just look absolutely terrible. Again, I kind of feel like it's not even worth selling these. These are awful. <laughs> I hate them. Okay, I'm gonna change into something that I actually like and then we're gonna have a look at some of the accessories and the shoes. I put on my go-to fluffy pink sweater because I love it. Okay, let's look at some of these accessories. So the first thing that I got is this belt. This is a corset belt. Now this was a little bit questionable because when I saw it on the website they didn't actually show it on a model or anything, they just kind of showed it on its own and I was like, oh, yeah okay, let's give that a try. I've been really curious to try one of these corset belts for ages. Oh, this is so hard to do up. I've never worn this out and I don't think I will because I'm not a Kardashian and it doesn't suit me, but it's kind of cute. It wasn't too expensive. But for me, it was a waste of money because I never ended up using it and I'm not going to. I also got this denim corset, which was such a waste of time because I wore it in public once. For a start, it's an absolute pain to get on. It doesn't have a zip or a button up or anything like that. So you've got to kind of open it up to, a, to be really wide so that you can fit it around your head. Now this is meant to be the front of it because the tag is at the back. But the stupid thing about this is that it loses all its shape. Because of how thin it is, it just kind of ends up crinkling up like this. The only time I ever wore it, I wore it for 10 minutes and it ended up like this. I don't know, I don't know how people actually properly wear these in public without it doing this. I feel like it needs some sort of support in it. Uh, and then it's such a pain to take on and off. Ugh. The last corset belt that I got is this pink velvet one. But again, because you have to do it up like that, who has time for that? If it had buttons, like the other one, it'd be okay. But again, it doesn't really have any nice shape to it. Because it's just a piece of fabric, it just kind of bunches up, loses its shape. It, this doesn't do anything, I don't like it. Oh, I'm so silly. I'm so silly. Why did I buy this? I got this really cute makeup bag. I love this, I've taken it everywhere. It has a zipper on the inside, which is really nice for any little tiny, maybe jewelry items, earrings or whatever. This holds so much. It's gigantic. It's not real fur, it's faux fur. I kind of want to like put a lead on it and take it for a walk. <laughs> I also got this one and I was a little bit disappointed by this. It's very, very thick on the outside, but not very much room on the inside. I can't even fit my phone in here. My phone won't fit. I can't even fit a mascara wand. It's on the inside, it's actually too short to fit a wand of mascara. Having their branding all over W7 everywhere on the inside, I really don't like that. But the fur is really soft. I got these sunglasses. I like these. These were cheap again, and they feel very cheap. They don't feel good at all. It's not even glass, the lens is just plastic. I bought this for no reason at all. These are called Beauty and the Beast Rose Bath Petals. I bought them because it looked really, really cute, but I haven't used them yet. I got these makeup brushes. These are the viral Instagram brushes. I see them everywhere. It's like every cute Instagram account has a picture of these brushes. I've never used them because I want to keep them nice and clean for Instagram photos. And I have a lot of brushes that are better quality. It's synthetic, obviously, but it feels okay. It's not the softest brush, but they're all right. Speaking of viral Instagram brushes, I finally got myself the mermaid brushes. Ariel, did you fall in love with a makeup brush and ask Ursula to turn you into one? I've never used them. They're a lot softer than the other ones. I don't really like that it's red up here. I don't think that's very nice. I think it would have been a lot nicer if it was just white. I think it kind of ruins them a little bit. I bought setting spray and I've used this a lot. It doesn't really smell like very much, but it says vitamin enriched makeup setting spray. It's really refreshing and I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I'm pretty sure that on the days that I have sprayed this on my face, 
my makeup has lasted longer. It could just all be in my head. I've used a lot of this and it's only up to there at the moment. It's hardly gone down and I've used it very, very frequently. It wasn't very expensive either, so I would highly recommend this. I actually think that when I spray this on, it kind of reduces the fine lines on my forehead, I think. Again, maybe it's just purely a coincidence that I spray this and then a couple of hours later the fine lines are gone, but I, I really like it. I must apologize to anyone that's new here. You must think that I'm such a bitch because I've just complained non-stop. Normally I have a lot of good things to say. I'm normally very positive and I just... <laughs> I haven't really been that impressed with a lot of this stuff. I got these earrings from Boohoo and when they arrived they were already broken. One of them had the stud. The other one had nothing, so I could never wear those. And the other pair, these are so annoying because the pom-pom is a really strange shape. It sits really awkwardly and they just, they don't look anywhere near what they did in the picture. From a distance, they look quite nice, but you can tell that they're extremely cheap. I've bought cheap earrings before. I've bought two or three dollar pom-pom earrings and they've been fantastic. So I don't know why they couldn't have put in a little bit more effort and made these a bit nicer. I bought these socks. I think these are very cute. I've never worn them. I feel like they get damaged very easily, but I think they're really sweet. They're very cute. I like the pearls. I went shoe crazy on Boohoo because the shoes were very, very cheap. And back in October when I bought these, I didn't have very many pastel shoes at all. So I went nuts. I bought these sneakers. These are very cute. I don't really like this color. On the website, it looked a little bit more blue but it's actually quite gray and they're my size, but they don't fit very well at all. They're quite small on the inside, considering the size of them on the outside. The quality is rubbish, actually rubbish, but that's okay because they were really cheap. I'm not expecting Gucci for dollar store prices, so I totally understand that the quality isn't very good, but they are very cute, but they're very uncomfortable on the inside. Maybe these would fit differently for other people. They look really nice. I normally have them sitting there with the rest of my sneakers and they look really cute on the shelf. Next up are these white shoes. I've never worn these out of the house either. There isn't really any reason that I haven't worn them. I just haven't really found an occasion to wear them. I thought that I'd wear them a lot, but they feel a little bit flimsy and every time I try them on, I take them off because I think if I wear those, they're gonna break. And the last thing that I would want is to be out and about somewhere, walking around and then suddenly the strap breaks. That's just what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's very strong at all. Next up, these shoes have had a lot of wear. I adore these. These are some of my favorite shoes that I've ever had and every time I wear them, strangers stop me on the street and tell me they love my shoes. People ask me where I got them from. People are like, oh my God, your shoes are incredible. I love them. How cool are they? They're really unique. I think they're so beautiful. I love the sort of, what would you call this? Like the flared heel, I guess you could say. They're kind of, retro looking. I feel so sassy when I wear these. I absolutely love them. They're some of my favorite shoes that I've ever owned. The heel is a really good height and they're extremely comfortable. I've worn these for hours and hours and hours and not had sore feet. I love them. Next up, I have these space boots as I like to call them because they make me think of outer space. <laughs> I don't know why. They're just kind of futuristic and crazy. I've never worn these either because I don't really like to draw too much attention to myself. I think these would be cool to wear with a costume or wear to a party or something like that, but out and about every day I just don't have the guts to wear them. There'd be a lot of people that could totally rock these sort of shoes that would happily wear them on a day-to-day -day basis out in public, but I just feel like they're a little bit too much. But they're really cool. They're, they actually feel like they're quite well made. The material is very thick, very sturdy, and I've tried them on and they're quite comfortable, but again, never, never once worn in public. They're brand new. <laughs> Next up, we have some uh, Gucci gang. These are kind of like Prince Town loafers. They're very uncomfortable, but I wear these a lot. They're really easy to just slip on and walk out of the house in. I wasn't that big a fan of this design, but I do like the convenience. And I love the fact that it's got a bird on it because I'm a crazy bird lady. So I do like that. They're lovely. They're really easy to slip on. They're a little bit stylish, a little bit classy. I have flat feet and there's no support at all for your arches. So I do end up with sore feet if I wear these for too long. Next up, I got these. These are crazy. 
I couldn't resist when I saw them on the website. I was like, oh, fluffy pink. I haven't worn these out of the house either because they're really difficult to wear. The heel is extremely heavy. It's such a heavy heel. And when you're walking, it just, it, <laughs> Gravity just pulls it down and they fall off. You end up walking and you're constantly like slapping around like this. So I've never been able to wear these out of the house. So these have a permanent spot on my wardrobe shelf. I have a little section over there for pink fluffy shoes. Next up I have my bunny rabbit shoes. I call these bunny rabbit shoes because it looks like a bunny's tail. I've never worn these either. The bottom of them is so cute. Look at this. They glitter, which is adorable. I really have to wear these. I have to. I can't believe I haven't. I just haven't really found an occasion to wear them, but they're the sort of shoe that eventually the day will come when I'll be able to wear these and I'll feel really good wearing them. They're quite comfy. It's quite a tall heel, so it's not the sort of shoe that you want to wear for a very, very long period of time, but the little cotton tail is quite cute. They look really pretty on the shelf again, and I really hope that I can find some reason to wear them. These next shoes, were such a disaster. I mean, <laughs> okay, they're cool, they're shiny, silver and shiny, and I also got a white pair. I love the white pair, the white pair is really cool. I very, very, very enthusiastically wore these one day without having tested them first, and that was a terrible, terrible mistake because they gave me the worst blisters I've had in my entire higher life. I'm not going to show you a photo because it was too gruesome, but it basically looked like this. Where it sits on your foot is a really unusual place for that V to sit, and it's in a patch of skin where the skin doesn't normally have anything rough rubbing against it, and it rubbed and it rubbed and it rubbed, and basically they weren't shoes, they were razor blades. I mean, it's like expectation, reality, I'm not joking, in the slightest. It was terrible and I've never been able to wear them since. The very, very last thing that I got was a pair of fishnets. I mean, these are just fishnets. <laughs> I don't think there's much of a point in showing you what they look like because they're, they're just fishnets. I really hate how fishnets bunch up like this. It makes them so hard to put on, it's so annoying. Well guys, that's it, that's everything. That was my crazy boohoo haul and... Uh, Please, please, please take a valuable lesson away from this. Please learn from my mistakes. If you think to yourself, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy all of this stuff and I'm gonna return anything that I don't like, actually return it. Don't postpone it, same day. Try the stuff on, think to yourself, oh no, I didn't like those things. Put it back in the bag and go back to the post office and return it because life gets in the way or you just feel a bit too lazy to do it and then it doesn't get done, and then you get stuck with almost $2,000 worth of crap that you're not ever, ever, ever going to wear. Okay guys, that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I have a whole bunch of hauls coming up. I have about four or five wish videos. If you haven't seen my first one, I'll put the link down below. It was a lot of fun to film. I also have a runway video coming up where I asked my followers on Instagram to pick my outfits for me, and I bought a whole bunch of outfits that they chose and I'm gonna be wearing those outfits every day for a week. So if you like shopping, don't forget to subscribe because I've got a bunch of cool stuff coming out for you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!